Thank you for visiting STEM Day at the fair. Here's the answers to your scavenger hunt. Number one on the Grand Concourse. The Grand Concourse is about eight blocks long. Each block is about 450 feet. If each step for a person in a marching band were three feet long, how many steps would it take that band member to walk the length of the Grand Concourse? For the answer to this question, first you would multiply the number of blocks by the number of feet in each block. That would give you 3,600 3, feet. Next, you would divide that number by the length of each step to get your final answer of 1,200 steps. Number two, Pella Plaza. The Pella flag in Pella Plaza is five feet wide and eight feet long. In square feet, what is the total area of the flag? To find the total area, take the width of the flag times its length, or five feet times eight feet. This gives you a final answer of 40 square feet. Number three, the Mid-American Energy Wind Turbine. A 1.8 megawatt wind turbine can produce more than 5.2 million kilowatt hours per year, or enough to power about 520 households. How many turbines would be needed to provide power to a city of 18,200 households? Divide the total number of households in the city by the number of households a turbine powers, or 18,200 divided by 520. This gives you your final answer of 35 turbines. Number four, Iowa statues. The many statues shaped like the state of Iowa around the fairgrounds are made of concrete and weigh about 300 pounds each. If you wanted to lift one of them four feet from the ground to place it in the back of a truck, which of these simple machines would you most likely need to use? A lever, a wheel and axle, or an inclined plane? You would most likely need to use an inclined plane to help move one of the Iowa statues from the ground to a truck. An inclined plane is a flat surface tilted at an angle to form a ramp. Moving the Iowa statue up an inclined plane, or ramp, requires less force and makes it easier for you to move the heavy object from a lower level to a higher one. Number five, the FFA display building. A 50 pound bag of seed corn can plant about three acres and costs about $200 per bag. A farmer wishes to plant 160 acres of corn how much will the seed corn cost? First, you'd need to divide the total number of acres the farmer wants by the number of acres each bag will plant. This gives you 53.333 bags of seed corn. Next, you take the number of bags needed to plant 160 acres times the cost per bag. This tells you that the seed corn needed to plant 160 acres will cost the farmer $10,667. Number six, the globe outside of the agricultural building. The tilt of the Earth's axis is approximately 23 degrees. If the tilt increased to 25 degrees, what impact would Iowans experience? Colder winters and hot summers? Milder winters and moderate summers? Or no change? Because of the tilt, different parts of the Earth receive the strongest, most direct rays from the sun at different times of the year. In Iowa, we experience our warmest weather and longest days when the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. We experience our coldest weather and shortest days when the southern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. If the Earth's axis is tilted more than it is, Iowa's summer and winter weather would be more extreme because our summer days would be even longer than they are and winter days would be even shorter. <laughs>